what I'm going to tie here is a 20T blob B175 size 10 my favourite still water hook going to use some UTC 70 fluorescent fire arms for my thread put the thread on and wind back towards the bend trim that a little bit off The reason it's called the 20 T is because there's 20 tons of fritz on it, and the fritz I, I, I use is my own fritz that I dye, uh, supply, and you know I spec it from the manufacturer direct. Now what we're going to use for the tail is some definite advantage, sunburst flash. Now I'm going to line that up with the end of the thread. I'm going to catch it in just so that the body of the fly is going to be the same diameter. I'm not going to have any lumps or bumps. Catch it in wind it forward and then just go back <coughs> doesn't have to be touching turns leave the tail on there because we're going to use it later on and it says 15mm fritz it's a uh, my own spec core's very fine diameter's very fine very strong it's bonded and what that means is that it's more expensive and it doesn't come apart so easy and it also allows the core to be dyed so catch that in by the core then take thread to the eye ok, now all I'm going to do here is one turn I'm going to keep going until I've done at least 20 as in the name, 20T, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, and some people like their blobs to be mega mega bushy and then they complain why their droppers keep tangling, well that's because they've got a very bushy blob, I like mine to be more like a palmered hackle fly, soft, sweeping back, and nice and contained. All I'm doing is pushing the fibres back as I go forward on every turn. And you'll see it will build up into a really nice shaped blob. And just keep going. Pull it back. What happens is the next turn of fritz will hold the last turn in place once you push it back now that's over 20 but we'll just keep going sometimes you get 21, 22 turns depending how far back you start now just pull it forward catch it in 2, 3, 4, 5 ok trim that off pull all the fibres back a neat head one two three four five same again double whip finish same as everything five okay then all I'm going to do is give it a small coat of varnish It. Now the reason I use sunburst material for the tail is it gives it an aiming point and just trim it to international sized because most of my flies are international sized and there we go 20T blob <laughs>